today we are going to be looking at the Razor Orb Weaver Stealth and the Razor Orb Weaver. They are both the Chroma Edition, so they're a little bit older, but still something that needs to be covered, okay? Because nobody can pass these side to side, and it needed to be done, or at least I thought it did. So, you can individually change the functionality of all of these buttons um, and bind them to whatever keys you want in their software. Um, same with the lighting. You can do by key lighting in the software. They're fully adjustable. So you can slide this thumb piece in and out to adjust your hand. You can also use this to adjust it for palm comfort, which is kind of nice. I like mine fully forward, but everybody's different. And you can also slide the rest in and out from the keyboard. So that's pretty nice. Um, and it does lock once you release it. So um, overall, they're nice. They're not bad keyboards. But there are some things that I would like to see change, but they won't because it's Razor. So, but I would like to be able to program the keys without the software because I don't like using add-on software for your keyboards and mice, especially if you're using different brands because every brand has their own software and it gets really clunky when you have two or three different softwares because you got say a Logitech headset, a Razer keyboard, and a Steel Series mouse. That's three different softwares you have to have to control those. It's very annoying. It'd be nice if they had a software that covered all of them in one or if you just could do it without a software, which companies like Ducky, um, you don't have to use software to control lighting on keyboards like this one here. Um, so, but We'll do a sound check here real quick. This is the stealth. And this is the regular. Again, stealth. Regular. And then the functionality with the, the thumb pad and everything is the same. I think it's up to like 12 different directions with this. And, and then this is a button you can bind any key. Uh, this is space by default, but you can change it. You can bind it as well. Um, I've enjoyed the keyboard. I've had this one. I've had the Stealth for probably four or five years now and for a while I really liked it um, but I was also using all the Razer products and then when I transitioned into some of Logitech's products because I look like their mice slightly better um, it became a hassle to have to have two software so I just moved away from it and went with a standard keyboard which would be this Ducky 1-2 uh, Mini uh, oh yeah. I really like this keyboard and I've gotten used to just using a standardized keyboard so um, that's one way to do things and that's the way I went. Um, but these are actually pretty nice. Um, you can pick them up used off of eBay for around a hundred bucks maybe less now it's been a while since I've looked but I paid 125 for the Stealth when it was brand new and then I'm borrowing this from a friend just to give a side-by-side -side comparison, but overall the keys are good. I think the the standard keys kind of feel cheaper, um, and they're really loud compared to the Stealth. Um, I think the Stealth Press feels a lot nicer. Um, it's more smooth, and it's not as like obnoxious. It still has like a tactile feel and press to it, 
Um, and it actually takes less force to actuate the stealth than it does the uh, standard. I think it's 40 grams for the stealth and 50 grams of pressure for the standard. Um, but you can hear the, the, the standard much louder, more clicky. Um, it almost has like a, a cheap like kale green clickiness to it. But it is Razer's custom gaming switch. Same with the stealth. It's just it's their gaming stealth switches. Um, and overall these are really really good keyboards um, so if you're looking for something that you can bind different keys to and make it you know more comfortable for you for FPS uh, I would highly recommend this this is this Razer's product is the only mechanical product that allows you to control binding so I would highly recommend this if you play FPS um, or maybe even MMO so if you don't have an MMO mouse, this could come in handy. So, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and welcome to another Chatty's Tech Stuff. Yes. Shalom, my friend, shalom.